And I appreciate that you and uh, the vice chair have called this meeting so, so timely. Um, as an Alaskan, I am so angry. I want to use other words, but I'm not going to. The fact of the matter is, Alaska is the first line of defense for America, right? If you're going to have Russia coming at you, if you're going to have China coming at you, we know exactly how they come. They come up and they go over Alaska. Sometimes they go on the top, sometimes they go straight across, but Alaska is it. And thank goodness, thank goodness the Pentagon, the Department of Defense have recognized where we sit on the globe to take care of the rest of this country. And thank goodness that we have invested the resources to make sure that we have the eyes on the skies and every place else. More fifth generation fighters sitting there in the state of Alaska, we know that, we're proud of it. Everything that we do to, to stay focused, whether it's Cobra Dane out in the Aleutians or whether it's clear Air Force Base that has a long range discrimination radar or out in Greeley where we have the ground based missile defense, we're ready, we're ready, man. And to the point that Senator Collins makes, it's like, it's like this administration doesn't think that Alaska is, is any part of, of, the, uh, of, of the rest of the country here. To get to the United States, you've got to come through Alaska. So when we see it first, as we did, as we all knew, and as you have suggested, Mr. Royal, I think you, you suggested, we knew, we knew when we first got eyes on this, that this balloon was not a weather station. This was not collecting weather information. We knew that. And so think about it from Alaska's perspective. You said, you said, Ms. Dalton, that the clear message here, we, we sent a clear message to the PRC when we shot this down in our sovereign waters. Seems to me the clear message to China is we got free range in Alaska because they're not, they're, they're gonna let us cruise over that until it gets to more sensitive areas. Tell me, tell me where the sensitive areas are. Alaskans have stepped up willingly and, and support our military but when we're talking about the sovereign waters and the sovereign territories of this country, Alaska is part of that. So I, I really, I, I know we're going to have an opportunity for more information in the classified brief. I've already received one, and it was pretty thorough. And I think that the American public deserve more than they have seen in terms of transparency about why, why this spy balloon was allowed to spend two days over our waters and over the state of Alaska, the state that is the guardian for everybody else. And you're saying <clears throat> that at that time, at that time, there was not a threat to Alaska citizens or, or assets that we have, and that the risk assessment rose later as it was coming into, into the rest of the, the lower 48 there. You know, at, 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 what point, at what point do we say a surveillance balloon, a spy balloon coming from China is, is a threat to our sovereignty. It should be the minute, the minute it crosses the line, and that line is Alaska. The question that I have, and I, 
I apologize that it's taken me this long to get to the question, but I'm really concerned about what we have identified as these data gaps. We know that we have seen balloons previous that were also the surveillance balloons. We didn't realize until later because we weren't able to do the analysis until later. This committee is the Appropriations Committee. If we need to spend the money to make sure that we don't have gaps in our own data, that what we see is clearly understood, we need to know how to fund that. So, Mr. Chairman, I'm over my time. I don't think we'll get the answers that we need here in this subcommittee, unfortunately. We're gonna have to get them in closed hearing, uh, but I think people in this country deserve to know why the state that is the first line of defense was not able to keep the rest of the country from being more vulnerable when it came to collection of intelligence as it flew over important installations. Thank you, Senator McCown.